What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beer's Garage and today we're taking a look at the Ortor Laser Master 3. This is a 10 watt CNC laser engraver and cutter. This thing is an awesome addition to your shop or your home hobbyist uh, office. This thing can do all types of materials from wood, acrylics, painted metals. You can engrave logos into tumblers with certain accessories. This thing is a game changer when it comes to a shop. Uh, this is gonna allow us to make all types of little projects. This is gonna give my wife a lot of fun things to make and uh, especially for the holidays. This thing is pretty capable. I didn't know what to expect when they reached out and wanted to send one of these out because I've never messed with a laser machine. Now in our shop, we do have a CNC plasma. And to be honest, this is just a scaled down version of that. It has a 10 watt laser and that is a huge upgrade from older models that have five watt lasers and people would have to modify them by adding a 10 watt laser to them. It has some cool security features. It has an emergency stop button just in case something goes wrong. You can smack this and it stops all the X and Y axis movement as well as turns the laser off immediately. It also has a set of keys that come with it and if you flick this thing off, no one can control it whatsoever without that key being inserted and turning it back on. So if you're using this around younger kids or you're just leaving it out in the house, I definitely would use utilize these keys and turn the machine off so no one can use it. Uh, it's all made of aluminum and it's real high grade. It doesn't feel cheap in no means. Uh, from looking at pictures, I was scared it would be plastic, but it is not. Everything is super high quality and I'm really impressed with the quality of this machine. You can buy a lot of accessories for it. You can buy a honeycomb bed. You can get the tumbler roller uh, that is controlled by the machine itself. It'll roll the cup as needed. And uh, you can also get a air assist and a enclosure. Now I do say if you're using this inside of a house, I would highly recommend getting the air assist as well as the enclosure. The enclosure is going to encapsulate this whole machine and vacuum out the smoke because when I'm running this in the shop, it does smell like a wood burning fireplace is going on. Um, doesn't bother me, but it might bother a lot of people and I'm sure it would smell up your house and you might not want that. So I highly recommend either using it in a ventilated garage or buying the enclosure. Now I'm just using it just like you would get it off of Amazon right out of the box uh, with no honeycomb bed or anything. You do want to protect your work surface. So I got a eighth inch piece of steel laying on top of my weld table. So if the laser shoots through the material while cutting, it's not going to damage the coating on my weld table. A uh, 10 watt laser is stronger than you might think. It could definitely hurt you if you got your hands under there. So this does come with a little shield that uh, kind of protects your eyes from the harmful rays. And you also get a pair of glasses that'll do the same thing. And I always wear the glasses while I'm using the same because I definitely don't want to be going blind while using this. But again, I know I'm going to be buying the air assist for it and the honeycomb bed as well as the enclosure because we grind a lot of steel in this shop and I don't want a bunch of metal dust getting in the tracks and everything. So that's one thing you want to keep clear of debris and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to engrave a real quick Star Wars project for my son. It is a uh, Aztec style calendar that we're gonna turn into a clock. Uh, and we'll go over the settings once we're done and show you the results. So let's get right into it and start some projects. You can see that because we didn't have the wood up off the table, I got some burning around the edges and the laser didn't cut all the way through the project. This is where a honeycomb bed would have been super beneficial and we're going to move on to the Millennial Falcon and we're definitely gonna be raising it up with some sort of washers so it'll cut real clean and be able to pierce all the way through the wood.
So as you can see, once I raised it up with a few just 3 8 washers, once I raised it up off the table, it cut extremely clean. This thing does really good, especially on this 3 mil wood. And 3 mil is plenty to do a lot of projects. This thing is going to be awesome. I mean, just for hobbyists or working in the shop, this is definitely a game changer. And the amount of fun, me and my son can make like wood beds for his RC projects and wood trailers for them, just anything we would want to do. And you can paint it to look like metal, so you can make some really cool projects. So yeah, we'll get all this pulled off and put together and see what it looks like. So this is the Lightburn software. There's several that you can use, but I heard a lot of good things about Lightburn. So I did the free trial and I'm going to end up buying it. So it's very straightforward. You have stuff over here that you can basically just put text. And if you're trying to just make a straightforward logo, you can do shapes and you can kind of design your own stuff like this is a you know basic CAD program. Over here you have where you can frame out your your main square of the wood. Uh, this is a 400 by 400 millimeter bed. So that's what space we have to work with. So you can buy the balsa or basswood sheets in 400 by 400 on Amazon. Uh, we've linked the basswood that we've used down below. You can buy up to, I think 30 sheets in a kit, but um, you, can, you can move the laser with these controls here. If you're trying to frame something up and there's a lot of how to videos on this subject uh, I'm not going to go over how to work the software uh, because there's some really good videos. So if we wanted to bring in a project in this, we would hit file and open and we would find one of our projects. So let's just say this one, don't even know what that is. Okay, this is a car project and if we zoom out, you can see there's more pieces that's not going to be cut. So what's going to happen is um, it's going to cut everything that's in the bed. So once we cut all these layers, uh, we would delete everything out of the bed and then we would drag all these pieces into the bed and put a fresh piece of wood in. Uh, over here is where you would set the speed and power. So I tend to run, and I know there's better ways to test this, but I tend to run 100% power on everything I do, whether it's engraving or cutting. And if I'm cutting these pieces out of the three mil basswood, you want to raise it up with uh, washers if you don't have a honeycomb bed. Just get it up off the surface so the laser can pierce all the way through the wood. So I put it on 100% power and I'm going to change this to 100% or 100 millimeters per minute speed. I found that that works really good if you have the project lifted up off the table. It'll cut these extremely clean and pretty quick. Um, then, so let's say we cut all this stuff here. We would click outside, highlight everything and then hit the trash can button. Then we can zoom out, highlight everything up here, and then drag this down and start this next step and cut all these out. I will say that you, all these projects, none of them come with any kind of instructions and they're fairly complex. Um, I don't know if you can pay for the, for the project file, and it come with instructions, but I'm just getting the free ones off some uh, some DXF websites and they do not come with some instructions. So you're gonna spend a lot of time figuring out how to put these things together. But all in all, if you're gonna use this um, this laser, I highly recommend Lightburn. It's been super easy to use. You can make stuff in Photoshop and just drag it in. Uh, we got all types of logos that we have for our company. We can just drop them in here and it's gonna figure out its best way to cut them and then you're just gonna set up the speed. If I'm engraving something, I run 100% power and I run 1000 millimeters per minute. That seems to run pretty quick. You could probably even speed it up to 2000. Super handy laser, all the links are down below and I had a, a super fun time playing with this machine. So guys, that was our review and overview of the Ortor Laser Master 3. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. It might be Otor or Ortor, but this thing is super handy. I was having a lot of problems at first. Exhibit A, you can see all this wood that we went through other than the small sheets. 
but this is quarter inch plywood so this is pine this is a more like a hardwood type plywood i don't recommend messing with the quarter inch which is a little over six mil in thickness because it just takes so long to do um so we literally went through probably about 60 dollars worth of plywood cutting with this machine and it would cut it just fine here's some a project for a drill bit organizer that i'd cut but the problem was you get a lot of burning around the edges it'll do it just fine but i'd like once i bought the basswood in the three mil sheets off of amazon it was way better and lifting it up off the table you get a super fine cut it cuts every time and it'll do it at 100 millimeters per minute which is pretty decent speed you can set this thing up for a whole project and then just leave it and not have to babysit it and in about an hour it'll cut out a full project uh, depending on how big the project is so we have linked everything down below from the basswood that we use to the machine itself and uh, like i said this is a 10 watt cnc laser engraver and cutter you can even engrave stainless steel you can engrave all types of metal if you want to engrave your tools if you're working in a, uh, a factory or something with people that like the steel tools you can engrave your name or initials right in the tool so thank you old tour for sending this thing out we're going to be using it a lot on the channel i think what we're going to do is build a cart for it and I definitely want the enclosure, the air pump, as well as the honeycomb bed. And we're going to build a little cart to put it beside of our CNC plasma table. So we'll have both of them kind of side by side and we can set it right there, run the cable into my desktop and not have a laptop out here in the shop. So make sure to check out the links. I highly recommend one of these. I think my wife's going to be using it more than I am. She's already, it's going to bankrupt me in wood. She's going to be cutting out all kinds of projects. But now we can do, here's how the wood comes. It comes in a big stack from Amazon. Um, and it's fairly cheap. I mean, you can get a lot of projects out of 16 pieces of wood. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it and uh, we enjoy running this machine. Thank you, Ortor, and thank you guys. We love you and God bless.